welcome back children if the degree of variability is more then the median is not an accurate representative value of central tendency variability means if the lower value is 0 and the highest is 100 then the difference between the lowest and the highest largest is more that 100 so if that is more median it is not a representative correct accurate representative value of central tendency so in that case mean deviation about median that is also not accurate now what about the mean deviation about the mean the sum of deviations the sum of deviations from the mean that is modulus xi minus x bar that is more than the median but here we are taking the absolute value so mean deviation about mean is also not scientific so these are some limitations of mean deviation about mean and median so we need more accurate measure so uh, another measure for measure of dispersion that is standard deviation okay so now we have to learn what is standard deviation variance and standard deviation so in mean deviation we are considering absolute value okay modulus xi minus x bar or for mean deviation about the median it is modulus xi minus m instead of absolute value here we are taking the squares okay that is the only difference so for ungrouped data here also we have ungrouped data ungrouped data so ungrouped data means let x1 x2 etc xn be n observations then how to calculate variance and standard deviation variance the notation is sigma square this sigma is capital sigma this denote the sum okay this is a small sigma sigma square is the variance sigma square is the variance so variance sigma square is defined as sigma xi minus x bar whole square by n. Okay. So where this x bar means what? X bar is the mean. How to calculate this x bar? X bar is sum of the observations that is sigma xi by small n. Okay. So, this is ungrouped data x1, x2, etc., x and b n observations. Then the variance, variance is denoted as sigma square and it is defined as sigma xi minus x bar whole square by n, where x bar is the mean that is calculated as sum of the observations by number of observations. Okay. So, first you have to find the mean, then difference you have to take xi minus x bar then take the square then find the sum divide by n okay so this is variance now what is standard deviation standard deviation means it is the square root of the variance standard deviation is sigma now sigma square this is square root of variance so, sigma is defined as square root of sigma xi minus x bar whole square by n. This is for ungrouped data. Now, what about grouped data? Grouped data two types, discrete frequency distribution and continuous frequency distribution. So, discrete frequency distribution means let x1, x2, etc etc x and b n observations with frequencies f1 f2 etc fn now what is variance variance sigma square is equal to sigma here frequency also we have to consider so fi into xi minus x bar whole square by sigma f5 where i is uh, sigma is from 1 to n 1 to 
So, in this case how we calculate x bar? x bar is the mean, x bar is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. i is from 1 to n. So, x1, x2, xn, n observations with the corresponding frequencies, you have to multiply, find the sum, that divided by total frequency will give mean. And after getting mean, find xi minus x bar, its square, multiply by fi, find the sum, then that by total frequency. Now, here also, I am writing i from 1 to i is from 1 to n. Now, so then we can expand this. Hmm? There is another formula also for that. We can expand that is sigma square is equal to sigma into xi minus x bar whole square that is a minus b whole square form a square minus 2 a b plus b square by n square by n ok. Now sigma is from i equal to 1 to n. Apply sigma to each term. So sigma x i square by n i from 1 to n minus 2 is a constant, this sigma only for this xi part, there only we have to apply i from 1 to n, remaining all are constant, so here 2 is a constant, x bar is a constant, there is no i here, so we don't want to apply i equal to 1, 2, 3 like that, so that x bar also we can take out, then sigma only for this xi i from 1 to n. What is the meaning of this? First we have to give 1, so x1, then plus x2, plus x3 like that, ok. Then by n. Now the last term is sigma x bar square by n. And this x bar square means it is a constant, hmm? i from 1 to n. Suppose this x bar square is 100. So, in every when we give i equal to 1 here, you will get one term. There, the last term is 100. Then, when you give i equal to 2, you will get another expression for this first and second term, but the last term again 100. Then, that when you give i equal to 3, then also the last term is 100, but first 2 will change. Okay. So, the last term is 100 plus 100 plus 100 like that up to how many times? N times. Ok. So, we can write that in the next step we can write N times you will get 100, isn't it? So, I can write N times this x bar square. That value cannot be changed. N times x bar square by N. So, N and N cancel. Now, the first term. The first term is x1 square plus x2 square plus etc, etc, xn square. That we can denote like this itself. Okay. Now 2x bar by n. By n no 2x bar. Now what is this? Sigma xi by n. Sum of the observations by number of observation. That is same as x bar into x bar. Isn't it? So, the next step, sigma xi square by n minus 2 x bar square plus x bar square. So, what we get? Sigma, sigma xi square by n minus x bar square. Okay. This is the another formula. Sigma square is actually it is sigma xi minus x bar whole square by n. This is the formula. When we expand, we get another expression. Sigma xi square by n minus x bar square. And x bar is same as sigma xi by n whole square. 
okay so the both you have to learn the same way here discrete frequency distribution sigma square formula is like this fi into xi minus x bar whole square by sigma fi and this is the way for getting mean here also we can expand and write sigma square equal to sigma fi into xi square by sigma fi sigma fi is same as what capital n okay minus in the last one look here sigma xi square by n minus x bar square so the same way we can write here fi xi square by n minus x bar square or i can write sigma fi xi square by n minus sigma fi xi by sigma fi whole square either this or this we can okay now what is standard deviation this is variance sigma square means variance standard deviation standard deviation is d standard deviation is sigma that is square root of sigma fi into this one is the basic formula in some cases we use this formula that's why only i am giving that formula also okay square root of this variance sigma fi is same as capital n now continuous frequency distribution continuous frequency distribution means class intervals will be given there also the same way same formula you can apply okay so class interval will be given frequency will be given first you have to find mean mean we can calculate by using step deviation method that is a plus assumed mean plus sigma fi di by sigma fi into h okay so the formula is same for variance and standard deviation sigma fi into xi minus x bar whole square by n and standard deviation this is variance variance then standard deviation that is sigma is equal to square root of sigma fi into xi minus x bar whole square by n and we have a shortcut method that when we do problem i will explain it okay so now problem exercise 15.2 the first question find the mean and the variance 6 7 10 12 13 4 8 12 so this means ungrouped data hmm? ungrouped data find the mean and the variance after getting mean then only we can find the variance so mean x bar how to find mean x bar mean x bar is equal to sum of the observation sum of the observations by the number of observations what is the total number 7 8 okay what is the total 6 plus 7 13 13 10 23 25 35 48 48 60 60 68 4 is it 72 72 by 8 that's equal to 9 okay so mean is equal to 9 now we have to find variance variance sigma square variance sigma square is equal to sigma square is equal to formula is sigma xi minus x bar whole square by n so we have to find xi minus x bar whole square okay so i'm writing just as a table 6 7 10 12 12 thirteen four eight twelve this is xi now what is xi minus x bar six minus nine that is minus three minus two one three four minus five minus one and three 
And what is x i minus x bar whole square? That is 9, 4, 1, 9, 16, 25, 1, 9. Find the total of the last column. So 9 plus 1 is 10, 10, 15, 21, 30, 40, that is 44, 4, 6, 7, 74. So variance, variance sigma square is equal to 74 by the total number of observation that is equal to 8. So 74 by 8 means 9 point 9 7s are 7, 9 8s are 72, then 2, 16, so 9.25, 9.25 is the variance. Standard deviation means the square root of this number, okay. Then one more, that is, this is what type of distribution? It is discrete frequency distribution, xi and fi's are given. So, the first column xi, second column fi, then xi into fi, then only we get mean. So, 6, 10, 14, 18, 24, 28, 10, 30, then 2, 4, 7, 12, 8, 4, 3, then multiply. 6 into 2, 12, 40. 98, 18 into 12, that is 18 into 12, that is 216, then 32, 3, 192, 112, 192, 112, then the last is 90. So, what is the mean? Mean is equal to x bar is equal to sigma xi fi by sigma fi. Find the total frequency and find x i f y its sum. Total frequency is 15, 17, 24, 28, 30. So the total is 40. Now what is x i f y sum? 2 plus 2, 4, 10, 18, 20, then 2, 10, 12, 12 plus 10 is 22, 22 plus 10 is 32, 32 plus 4 is 36, 3, then 3 plus 2, that is 7, 60. So it is 7, 60 by 40. 36 and 9. So, 19 is the x bar. Now, find x i minus x bar. x i minus x bar, then x square. What is x i minus x bar? 6 minus 19. That is 13. It is minus 13. Then 10 minus 19 is minus 9. Then minus 5, minus 1. 24 minus 19 is 5, 28 minus 19 is 9, then 30 minus 19 is 11. Then it's square, xi minus x bar square. So it is 169, 81, 25, 1, 25, 81, 121. Now the last column is fi into xi minus x bar square. So, 
So multiply 169 into 2. So it is 338. 81 into 4 is 324. 25 into 7. That is 175. Then 1 into 12. That is 12. 25 into 8 is 200. Then 81 into 4 is again 324. 121 into 3. That is 363. Find the sum. One seven three six. So one seven three six. Variance is equal to sigma square is equal to sigma fi into xi minus x bar whole square by sigma fi. So one seven three six by forty or one seventy three point six by. 4 4 are 16, then 13, that is 3, then 0. 0.4, 43.4, 4, that is the variance. And square root of this number gives standard deviation.